Love, the power of love is the central universal key, not only to raise the consciousness levels of every single soul, but indeed to access the highest knowledge at universal and omniversal levels. The purity of the soul, the purity of the intention of the soul, should it gain access to such knowledge, is universally understood as the central unlocking of all wisdom and knowledge, as well. What will you do with such knowledge? How will you use this knowledge? Will you use it for highest good of all universally? Or for self-service, ego purposes? When the heart and soul are filled with divine love, divine light, and divine power, it becomes as one with divine will and purpose, and moves, or dissolves into unity and oneness. In this much higher, altered state of awareness, it operates from the higher heart, as one with the higher soul self, and from the state and consciousness of pure unconditional love. This state transcends all ego. It is when one is in the purest state of consciousness, where one can access whatever is needed and allow this knowledge to be transmitted through the soul energy, and then manifest into form and being in loving, co-creative ways. The seer, the seeing and the seen is one and the same. The creator, the creative and the creator is one and the same. The lover, the loving and the loved is one and the same. In the state of higher love, the soul merges fully with the monad and the monad merges fully with the divine source. All is one. Thus, all which is subsequently created is one with all that is, and its very essence, is love. Love in its very core holds consciousness. The divine being conscious of itself. Therefore, all divinely created reflects divinity. All the highly evolved masters know this, incorporate it and live this. It becomes a soul-filled existence. Embodied love. I have spoken. Melchizedek.